what's it like growing up as a young person in Scarborough? Can I, can I be honest or can I be? Yeah, be as honest as you want to be. Um, it's quite boring. Well, in Scarborough, I'm not going to be he doesn't here, here in the future. Well, yeah, you get out here. Yeah. yeah. What do you think Scarborough needs for young people if you were to? A hell of a lot more youth clubs. More youth clubs. Yeah, to to keep, to 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 keep people off the streets. Hang out. It isn't under a bridge. I'd rather actually be doing something creative with my life than sitting in a children's pass. Get bored and sit there and talk. I like the freedom, but I used to be a bit scared. Like I said, I used to go to a youth club. They grew up in a different generation. They don't have. They don't have. You know, things that we did when we were younger. They don't. They don't really know. They don't have the same things that we do. You know, the things that we do. They don't really know young people. Like young people know young people. So that there's. The things they do set up are usually catering more to them or what they think we like, which isn't that good. I always describe Scarborough as a place of contrast. It's beautiful, we're surrounded by sea and moorlands, uh, but it's also a real place of hardship and struggle for many people. It's particularly not an easy place for young people to grow up in. In the summer months it's a pretty busy tourist destination, but when all the tourists have gone home and the winter months set in, it can become quite a different place. certainly not that many opportunities for young people here and it's often described as the end of the line as the, the train finishes here but having said all that uh, it's got a special place in many people's hearts including mine and through all the struggle and hardship it's still a really strong community. I guess the original idea behind making this little documentary was really when I came to Scarborough and um, saw all the rich history that Sidewalk had. It's 25 years of stories of so many different people involved and I really just wanted to find out a bit more about that as the coordinator and to uh, really dig into that history. Someone wise once said to understand where you're going you have to know where you've been and I think there's quite a lot of truth in that for us to uh, move forward with the project. We've really got to find out who we really are and what is it that underpins all that we do.